Oh, hey. What's going on, YouTube people? It's your boy, The Bad Wolf. Just in the middle of knocking out some more valuable information for you. So this particular video is going to be about uh, sales tax. Okay, you know, it's something that we pay for every day. Every day on everything, we always be paying, right? But what if I were to tell you that is for U.S. citizens and federal citizens inside the system? And if you're going out and purchasing on the fact that you are a U.S. national, maybe, just maybe, you ain't got to pay them taxes, okay? At least on everyday items. Okay, so uh, remind reminding you all, of course, this is educational purposes only. I'm not saying go out there and do this or not. I'm just saying sometimes the proof is in the pudding, but you have to do your own due diligence. Now, I started this years and years ago, but uh, kind of dropped the ball, got into this. One of, the, one of the bad things about being a nerd is that um, every kind of time you see some, something new and interesting, you kind of flock to that. So I've put down a lot of stuff. I'm trying to get back into all of them now and get it hashed out. Maybe one day I'll write a big book on this. Otherwise, you know, YouTube um, videos will have to do for now. So over the last couple of months, I've been hit up by you guys um, asking me about the same question. So a couple of us have put things into action and to, you know, see what's going on. And I'm going to go over the findings today, you know. Um, it's just kind of coincidental how some other people I noticed uh, their videos too kind of uh, came about in talking about this as well. Um, so my conclusion finally came today so let's get going all right now I know for a fact that when I was a GM for we'll call it home CPO that um, and it was only for a little while just need a little something to tie me over it uh, when we were in uh, offices we were taught taught that if somebody comes in and they claim that they are tax exempt you just take the number that they give you put it in there and keep going okay you know I happen to know that for the most part um, unless there's like unless you're buying like thousands and thousands of dollars worth of materials for the most part the company really doesn't care um, yeah they do report that stuff um, so at the end of the the day you know like unless you are doing this all the time and it's substantial they really don't care because what are you going to do at the end of the year you're going to owe like maybe a hundred dollars or say even five hundred dollars in, in store-bought taxes when in all actuality the taxes on those products are supposed to be paid by the store the corporation is supposed to absorb those out of their profits from what you just buy but they don't they pass it on to you the consumer okay so we already know that's the shimmy sham right there alright so in my efforts I was also contacted by a fellow wolf out there and uh, they sent me which you're not gonna be able to see clearly oh, especially if I don't have it on the right page so I was working on it before you guys uh, came into mister bad wolf's neighborhood this particular receipt right here now this is not the only one okay um, there's many of them that I've been looking at and they all come up to the same thing but this is the one that kind of jumped off so this particular person went to the family dollar and they got some products the lady asked or he must have made mention that he was a national and she's like okay so she took his um, passport ID number okay entered it in and to his astonishment, it popped up as national. Now, I wasn't there exactly to verify the information, but he said that it popped up national. Okay. And got the discount. No sales tax. That's what it says right here. Five dollars even. Okay. No sales tax. Now, if you break it down, why would that happen? Okay. All corporations, they all the upper body, they all know that they are supposed to pay that tax to out of their profits to the GOV, IRS, whatever, blah, blah, blah. So, but they, they pass it on to us. Now, if you're a federal employee or a U.S. citizen, you know, that's one thing because they ask you to pay it, and so it is what it is. But on your private side, as a U.S. national um state citizen 
foreign national, however you want to see it and say it, um, we're foreign to them. Okay, so foreign people aren't held to the those taxes. Okay, now those per those per taxes in purchasing your your everyday products and stuff like that. Now I do know in some some states are a little bit different in how they inter interact. So you might have to do your homework on it. And I do know that um, some things like 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 a car or a motorcycle, um, whatever else, those might even be subject to different forms of of taxing, and there might you might not be able to even use your uh, tax exempt status with those. Um, so you have to do your own due diligence, but let's keep going. All right, so close that out. Email. Okay, so I contacted my particular state's DOR, right? Now, to my astonishment, okay, these people are always, you know, what they call it, Johnny on the clock, you know, always getting down to brass tacks and ready, ready, ready to bend you over and, you know, do that Uncle Merv stuff, you know what I mean? So I contacted them, and to my surprise, they were like, here is a link to a website. That's it. One of their, one, you know, on, on their page, right? I was like, all right. So I go there expecting to get just the, the wham, the, the whambity wham, you know what I mean? Like, here it goes. You cannot do this. And mind you, in the email, I told them, I said, I am this. I'm a foreign, you know, foreign national, U.S. national, blah, blah, blah. I said that I was at the store. And that uh, in talking with the uh, clerk, I told her that uh, that's what I was. She seen my ID. I gave her the number, put it in there, and she gave me the discount. You know, no sales tax charge, right? And I'm totally expecting at that point in time for them just to go, oh, that's illegal. You have to do this. <laughs> nope. Get to that page, right? It basically says some people qualify for... Uh, to sales tax exemption and others don't yeah that's literally all it said that's all it said so I contact him again I said specifically I need to know if this is an illegal transaction or action or course is it private because of the corporation um, you know the whole kitten the whole kitten caboodle just a breakdown right person said we are not allowed this is the Department of Revenue for my state they said we are not allowed to give you that information contact the Department of State okay one moment please Here's my email to the Department of State and our correspondence. Dear so-and-so, your query would best be answered by the Office of Foreign Missions. For information on diplomatic tax exemptions, please visit www.state.gov forward slash OFM forward slash tax forward slash. So for those playing the home game, by all means, um, they then responded directly, um, well, I won't give her a name on, I mean, unless you can zoom in and that, that's on you guys. Um, okay, she doesn't want it on there, whatever. She first asked me for a, a specific number, like, you know, I've already applied or whatever else, because you can't apply directly from them to get a card. And not only can you get a card, but... There are cards for students, there are cards for general use, private, uh, or personal, individual, corporation. And then there's levels to them, and depending on what, I, they have like an animal on each different one, uh, that or some type of image like that, that corresponds to how much you can get off, and if it's unlimited across the board, like 100% tax on nothing, just nothing, or only on certain items, or only 50%. So, there's something to this, all right? So, they asked me for the PID or the personal identification number, to which case I responded back to her respectfully. I don't have one. I've got this. I use my blah, blah, blah. This, so, I, I copied her, the information from all the emails with the state, the local state, to her, gave it to her, and said, this is what I have. This is what I got. 
you make it happen. Let me know what's going on. Am I doing something illegal? Doing something wrong? Is this something they can bust me for? Um, she gets back, gives me a different link. Okay. Now this one says www.state.gov forward slash sales dash tax dash exemption forward slash. Okay. Doesn't say anything else. She doesn't. I go to the, the page and basically once again it says some people qualify, some people don't qualify. If you want a card, contact us here. So should I ever use this? I'm going to keep these emails and say these people never told me at all that this was an illegal action. Okay, or that this could be used against me. Because I'd be like me going up to a cop and say, hey, if I buy weed from that guy across the street, would you bust me? Hell yeah, like, who, who's that guy? Let's go, uh, you know what I mean? Like, so how can you, that, they would do that, so why, why aren't they saying that? It's like, they're, they are being super encryptive on this. Now, we already know that it works, okay? So I'm not even saying that. I've known that this works for a long time. Even when I worked for Home Meepo, um, I knew that it would work then. So it's not like I didn't I didn't know that this didn't work. I just wanted the proof. So finally I buckled down and, and, and jumped on this. So between that and the, and the uh, uh, other wolf out there sent me their, their receipts, we know that it works. It's not about knowing that it works. I want to make sure this wasn't going to be something that can bite you in the, uh, in the tuchus, you know, as they say. Um, and so knowing what I know, the outcome, the possible ramifications are that, like, look, minor purchases, they're not going to bother you. They don't care. The company knows that they're supposed to absorb it. The GOV knows that you're a foreign national, so you don't have to pay it. So I don't think you'd have any problems doing this. Maybe there, with certain items, whatever else, you know, there might be something different to it. Say if it was, you're buying a gun or a car, I don't even know. Maybe or maybe it wouldn't work on a house. I don't know. Um, so you have to kind of use it with your own best judgment. My thing is, is it doesn't hurt to ask. Because if you ask and they don't say no, do it and then see what happens. Obviously, at the end of the day, unless you're, you know, in for fifty thousand, a hundred thousand dollars worth of tax exempt stuff, they don't really care. They're not going to take you to a trial or whatever else for like five dollars or a hundred dollars or a thousand dollars. I mean, for the most part, until you get around five to ten thousand uh, dollars, you're not even going to be on their radar. Okay, and then still yet. It would have to compile up there. Probably have to be some complaints about you. But here's the thing: if you're giving them your um, your passport number, that number can be referred back to you, obviously, because it's going to be in their system. You know, they they know by the length of the number and, and the information put in there where that goes. So, are they really going to compile millions of people around the United States into the into their database where you guys have been, you know, getting tax exempt this, that, and the other? I know for a fact that many people have done this, like, put it this way, I've never heard of anybody being pounced on for it, but I'm just saying, like, that's also small potatoes. So we're, we're faced with, where do we get 100% the okay from it? Well, they avoided it up the chain. They just said, here, if you want to get a card, now I wrote out specifically, this is what I'm going to be doing, this is what I've done, or whatever, and... They didn't say yes, they didn't say no, they just said here's information on that. And there wasn't anything about that being used that way. So, use it sparingly. 